Hello, Diva Loves. It's been a minute, but I'm back. And I'm ready to do a review of the best, the hottest show. I don't care what anyone says. Empire stays winning. The numbers go up every week. It's like everyone in America is catching Empire fever. And um, I think I'm about three or four episodes behind as far as reviewing. So in case anyone else is just as bad as me and is behind and don't know what's going on, well, let's get into it. So, so far what has happened since I believe when I last left off, uh, Cookie didn't have somebody killed because Lucius and left her a role. She thinking it's some dope dealer that she used to work with uh, that she testified against or someone had an affiliation with. So that person got got and now Cookie feel guilty. Not to mention Lucius put a ring on it for a uh, boo-boo kitty miss anika uh, however we learn as the storyline progresses that more likely than not lucius he a street dude let's just be real they be on some grimy stuff so as we all know lucius has als <sighs> speaking of which why does he have to have als how's the storyline supposed to go on lee daniels with him having als that's that's what we're trying to understand i mean even though in last week's episode we did learn that there are still some things that are pop possible with ALS, uh, but we'll get into that after we finish doing the catch up for those of us who are like me that may be a couple episodes behind. Uh, let me see what else happened because I had to take notes and go back. Uh, so we're in season one of episode eight, but before we get there, um, well, we we know after they try to pitch um, Empire Records or Empire the Enterprise that is created and founded by Lucius Lyons. Uh, well, let me back up. Here's something. So Lucius put a ring on Anika. Cookie shows up to a dinner party and finds out that the dinner party ain't like for her or anything. It's for Lucius to formally announce to the family, hey, me and Boo Boo Kitty getting married. Uh, Cookie get mad, walk out, and show some ass. Um, priceless! And then, of course, the BuzzFeed's gone. But her booty ain't real. But, but, honey, if you have not, I think y'all have been living in delusions for so long with the likes of Nicki Minaj and Amber Rose and um what's the other child's name Kim Kardashian them booties ain't real baby that's stuff you can find in the Home Depot mm -hmm. just go on down ask them for some silicone don't don't do that for real because you could die you could die too many people die from using silicone at the Home Depot and the Lowe's um but no honey there, there's real booty and then there's the uh, unreal booty. And believe me, Kim K's, it's not, you get, get enough injections, that stuff starts sagging, and then you need a butt horn harness. Anyway, Taraji P. Henson's booty is real, honey. Uh, so anyways, as they're pitching, uh, getting ready to pitch the Empire to investors, Lucius has an ALS attack. Uh, come to find out, when he had Boo Boo Kitty's dad, they recommend a doctor to him. Uh, the doctor turned out to be a complete quack. Um, child, you can't be going down to Mexico and Russia grabbing some random medications and, and doctors. We don't know where that's been. Doctor, you you in stage one liver failure. Um, so he trying to rush himself on out of here doing these experimental drugs. And he up there, oh, it's cutting edge. It's going to save me. No, no, fool. You, you're dying. But what was really a telling point for me is when he was having this attack and they're loading him to the ambulance. Boo Boo Kitty should have known right then and there. Uh, if a man who professes his love for you can't decide if you should ride in the back of the ambulance with him or his baby mama, then maybe you are not number one after all, Boo Boo. I'm just saying. Remember that lady. If he, he got to think about it. Uh, you should be starting to doubt and maybe you just bomb out with the rock that you got and pawn it off and go on a nice shopping spree because it was a nice rock. I think it was, he said something about 
uh, Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor, uh, who were married twice. I miss you, Liv. Oh, I miss you. Oh, that's why we call you Elizabeth, because you never like to be called Liz at all. You preferred Elizabeth. Uh, so anyways, I think that's about all. Oh, after the pitch and, and the family comes together, they're all having a meeting. Boo Boo Kitty had to go to Chicago to take care of some business. It's all family there. Uh, Lucius confesses that, guess what, everybody? I have ALS. There's really no prepping for that. It's just like he has ALS. Uh, we also found out in one episode that uh, Jamal had been married and was forced to marry Raven Simone. And she pops up talking about we saw you on TV and heard you on the radio. And here's your daughter. Boom. Uh, also in that episode, uh, Jamal's boo, Michael, decided he couldn't take anymore because he felt like he was being slighted. But Jamal is an artist. If someone's not going to stick with you, let them move on. But then... Uh, I think the straw that broke the camel's back that really broke that broke their relationship was the fact that Jamal had been married and possibly maybe the father of a child. And I, I don't think Michael, he was like, he was like, but I only slept with that girl one time. And Michael's like, duh, that's all it takes is one time. And I know too many uh, now men that are out the closet that are gay that do actually have children. Because being gay as a teenager or even as a young adult, it can be very confusing because society... It's not very accepting. Uh, it, well, at least back in the day, I know some of the some of the gay males I know they have children. You know, it was kind of like I'm gonna try to have sex with this girl and see if I like it, and maybe I'll be okay. But they didn't use any type of protection, and lo and behold, all it takes is one time, and you have a beautiful child, and that's what happened to Jamal. It just takes one time. Although I do find it disturbing that we are about three episodes after this child and popped up because now the mama done dropped the baby off and then disappeared off the scene. So now the Lyons family is raising this child. When are we going to have a DNA swab? We need proof. I mean, a lot of us do look alike from time to time. We might favor one another, but that don't mean we're related. I'm just saying. Uh, so now we're going to get back into episode eight. That took about seven minutes. Um... Let's see. So, in a state of weakness, as Lucius later on describes it, he and Cookie, their fire and desire is reignited and they uh, fall into a night of passion. But someone comes home early. Boo Boo Kitty comes home early. And guess what? She sees them in the throes of passion and does nothing. She just. <gasps> I was like, girl, what, why are you surprised? That's the woman who will always be the apple of his eyes, honey, until they gone when the ALS take it. Um, so uh, the morning after, Cookie tells him, look, what you going to do about Boo Boo Kitty? Because she got to go. Miss Halle Berry knockoff, she got to go. Because if you want Cookie's nookie, you got to ditch the bitch. Okay, that was classic. I love that. That gave me life. Um. So Lucius agrees. Okay, Boo Boo Kitty's out. You in, Boo? Um, we see uh, Hakeem and Jamal at a church because Hakeem really loves his daddy, honey. He just can't believe his daddy is dying. Because even when his dad announced he had ALS, he'll go special needs Andre talking about, what about the company? What about the money? He was like, Dude, do you not see our daddy? Is that what the hell wrong with you? Y'all know your brother crazy. And next thing we know, Andre done had some meltdown. And he in the shower taking the ALS challenge on behalf of his daddy. Is that, that what the hell it had to be? How you gonna get in the shower in that nice suit and just sit there and not... I think his wife is gonna leave him. Because in this episode, I think she just did a little bit too much. Uh, he, he pushed her a little bit too far. She's like, you know, I'm tired of dealing with your crazy black ass. I really am. I, th I think that's what's going to happen. Um, so Hakeem is praying for his daddy. I guess the little boy do know Jesus with his juicy fruit lips. Oh, that boy got some nice little juicy fruit lips. Yes. Whew. Anyway. Um, so they make their, they make amends, which I'm glad because Andre did all he could to tear him and his conspiring wife did all they could to tear that brotherhood apart. Uh, we also, uh, learned that Lucius is now going to do a video 
of uh, his life, his legacy. He's having that film by this guy named Brian, who's a videographer, who is also gay, which Jamal figured that out. He was like, yo, dude, if you going to work for my daddy, uh, you might not want to let him know how you really are because, you know, he don't like gay people. Um, and dude is like, he ain't worried. He's just who he is. Okay, he is cute, too. I hope he ain't really gay. That, that man is fine. And I love that accent. Talk dirty to me. Um, so, uh, Lucius is confronted by Boo Boo Kitty. Uh, she asked him about a couple things, like, how you gonna have my daddy falsify paperwork for you? And, and he's putting his license on the line. And if you don't, uh, live up to my demands, I'm gonna take everything with me. I know about you and Cookie. And Lucius up there doing the usual man dance they all like to do. Yes, men, y'all do like to do this. And, oh, girl, I was just weak really 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 and pigs are flying right now um so she walking in all hard but you know boo boo kitty is a debutante like she told us and her pearls are easily disturbed i ain't seen her slit nobody's throat i seen her just slit a skirt that's all um uh, so she confronts him about that and then she gives him an ultimatum to my, i want you to marry me uh tomorrow he's like whoa, 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 hold up can we at least get through the weekend can we at least get through the white party that we having uh so she's like okay but you gotta get rid of cookie we gotta announce it at the white party girl really you think you really doing something girl cookie can always one up you i love that about this show because this karma comes so fast on these characters it'll make your head spin off um so now we see vernon and andre I think I'm pretty sure Vernon knows Well, actually he does know because he does tell him in one episode that you know boy you need to continue to take your meds but Vernon and Andre are now conspired to take up the company I don't know if Vernon knows that Lucius has ALS but Andre does so now Andre is trying to use his daddy's weaknesses to uh you know basically take over the company and he even is willing to sell out his wife who tells him i am not going to be having geriatric sex with some dirty old man you need to get this on your own because they went over to some old man's house who asked had they seen the sh movie about stephen hawkins because at first blondie Rhonda was down the ride and then she was thinking you know he old and in a hover around rolling around here looking like santa claus on wheels um you know, he can't do nothing, but he was like, yeah, Stephen Hawkins has ALS. She was like, oh, really? And then she played dumb role. And he was like, yeah, you know, he has this ALS where he can still keep living. Uh, you know, his body may not be working, but his mind is still sharp and he can still get an erection, too. That's when Rhonda threw up in her plate and was like, oh, we got to go. Because I, I don't know what was going to happen. I guess, you know, it was going to be some orgy fest in there because, you know, Andre don't care. He he crazy literally i mean like let me not say that he is mentally ill he needs to stay on his meds and if they ain't working you need to go see your psychiatrist and get them up because last week yeah behind was in the shower crying having the als and this week well we'll talk about that towards the end of this video um so i think it's a dangerous li uh, liaison between vernon and andre and i just don't i don't know some ain't right so you know uh Hakeem and and in this episode eight we see Hakeem and his mother finally have a breakthrough. Thank God. With Lucius leading the way playing Dr. Phil. Um so they're all in the studio singing as one big happy family. Andre over in the corner looking like he trying to jump in the shower somewhere because he on the verge of a breakdown. <laughs> Why is the family not including me? What about me? What about you, Andre? Um, you, you're the you're the brains. Uh, and, and that, my friend, is a great gift to have to be the brains. Um, so when Cookie, who is producing this track, You're So Beautiful, for the family legacy album they've decided to do, she tells... Hakeem, yo, you're rapping over the beat. Stop it. He gets all up in arms and comes out the studio slamming something. You come in here and sing it then. 
I was like, well, is you crazy? Didn't your daddy tell you already respect your mama? You look, don't let her have a broom next time, Hakeem. Mm hmm Juicy fruit. She going to come after you. So anyways, uh... He said, his daddy was like, get your ass in here right now. I was like, boy, if this ain't a black family, that's some stuff you always hear. Get your ass in this kitchen right now and clean up these dishes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Lucius is yelling. I'm like, would y'all please stop getting this man upset? Because he could have another seizure or something and end up passing out in the daggone studio. Uh, we don't need to see that again. That was, oh, that disturbed me. Mm -hmm. Um. So basically, he acts as an intermediary for the son and mother conflict, and it's revealed that Hakeem, as many of us sometimes will feel that one uh, that the parents tend to favor one sibling over other, and you know, Cookie just said she felt like Jamal needed more love because he said you love Jamal more than me, uh, you know, and and there's a breakthrough there, and so now they have a relationship. The only problem is, is that Camilla, a.k.a. Naomi Campbell, may interfere with that relationship because now Hakeem no longer has Tatiana. What was her name? Lord Jesus. Maybe, was it Tatiana? No. We ain't seen her in a couple of episodes. And just as an aside, what the hell happened to Tyrant? Like, Lucian took to see him in jail and we ain't seen or heard nothing from Tyrant. We seen Courtney Love. Uh, who else did pop up? You know, Derek Luke is now secure. Where's Tyrant? Let's 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 ask my Tyrant. Where's... Anyway, back to the story at hand. Um, so Camilla said something interesting to me, and I don't know if anybody caught this, but she was like, "Yeah, when P Diddy was going to be CEO, he wore suits." So she didn't bought him this really nice white suit. Here go Hakeem, sounding like a little like a timid chap. I'm going to buy you a really nice, a really nice, fancy dress so you can come to the white party with me. I'm like, oh, Lord. you going to bang your, your mama to, to the uh, to the white party. And I, I love the things that happen at the white party. Um, so white party is about to go down. Um, it's going to be the event of the year. Before that, Jamal meets with Ryan. Ryan tells him he's just who he is. He owns the fact that he's gay. He embraces the fact that he's gay. And he said, God made him this way. He was born this way. I said, well, okay, then you just, you just better go, Mr. Ryan. You just, you just better go. Lord Jesus, Lucius is not going to like this. So at the white party, uh, you know, Jamal figures out that, uh, his mom and daddy back together knocking the boots and he ain't happy about it he turns paternalistic and he's like what is wrong with you why are you sleeping with him he don't give a damn about nobody but himself lucius don't love nobody but himself he's incapable of it and he's like you better watch your back mama you know i'm just like lord jesus what what is going on i mean so, anyway, uh, Boo Boo Kitty and Lucius arrive at this white party, honey. I mean, Boo Boo Kitty, that, that dress was nice, looking like Tony Braxton from back in the day. I love it. It was fabulous. But, girl, your face about to get broke. Mm -mm -mm. So, she's like, hey, everybody, we here. Be sure to stay till the end because we have a special announcement. And, no. Uh, cooking like what, what kind of announcement y'all got so she confronts lucius of course lucius says it ain't gonna happen between us it's over and you know the sad part about it is y'all just got busy in the studio but it's over you want cookies nikki boy don't lie anika can't do it like cookie okay uh, so anyway, she gets Boo Boo Kitty off to herself and tells her, talking about, oh, I guess he didn't tell you, you may have learned about the time we slept in your bed, but you didn't hear about how we just slept in the studio together last night, crunch, hey, go up, down, up, down, all around, all on the soundboard, honey, that's, that's, mm -hmm. I wanna sex you up. Yeah, honey, it was going down in that studio. Going on like a, a schoolboy Q song. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so what else happened in this episode? So I'm trying to make sure it was so much stuff that happened and it's so many great lines that came out of Andre drinking like a fish out of water because his daddy man voted against him to be CEO, interim CEO. Some happened to Lucius. He ain't happy about that. Um, Camilla confronts, um, um, Camilla and, and Cookie meet for the first time and Jim, and excuse me, Hakeem talking about this my girl and and Cookie can see all through that Maybelline, honey. She was just like, I know why you here. You just using my son. You know, you are too old. And then Naomi Campbell to my uh-uh, no, I'm not. I'm older. You older than me. She told me, no, I'm not. Cookie check kitchen and clap back. Um and so anyway, she was like, well, Hakeem need to be last on this song. I don't get the whole thing with musicians. I know in comedy, we, we want headliners to go last. You know, you know, opener, feature, headliner, maybe a few in between before the feature and the headliner. But either way, I wasn't aware it was a big deal in, 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 in the uh, music industry because Camille done filled Hakeem's head talking about he need to go last and the best go last and all I could think about was Ricky Bobby Dad telling him if you're not first you last I don't I don't know these, these this advice was just interesting but but it was so hilarious to me because she was like oh so Cookie was like oh so Yoko Ono want to be on the track too well what can you do Yoko can you play the tambourine I was like oh this is another life she just gave me life um and she was like, you need to stay the hell away from my son because, you know, he just dealing with some mama issues and I want some grandbabies. So, boo, you got to go. You need to get out. But either way, Camilla talking about, well, I'm not one of your jail households and or something like that. And then that's when Cookies told her. I was like, oh, my God. No, she went there. She went there. She talking about, you would have made a nice bitch. Look at your tongue. Look like it's long or something like that. So, oh, Lord. So, I guess when she did tell Lucius that he was the, uh, she, he was the only man uh that uh she had been with that didn't include the females that perhaps she slept with while she was in prison for 17 years uh don't want to think about that so anyway back to the white party uh lucius gives jamal his i think lucius really loves his son jamal he just can't get over those things that are ingrained as us especially as african-americans about homosexuality and and all the things my thing is if it's your child love your child um i you know it doesn't make him any less of a man uh you know just love and embrace your child that's your son so he encourages him to go out and do music and then jamal gives this announcement you tell me i did my own arrangement of you're so beautiful and he's like gone out there and do it and then that's when jamal drops the bomb Makes a man love a man. Used his daddy's hottest hit to come out the closet. And he, he got he got into it so much his confession came out like a Baptist minister about to close up. Oh yeah, he said, make a man love a man, make a man love a man. I was like, oh, did he just come out? Did he show the little human rights equal sign tag? I don't know if he got that or if he's always had that. I don't know. And then... Lucius looked like he had swallowed a whole shark. I, I just said, oh, he going to have another attack. Why y'all keep doing him like that? You said you weren't going to come out and tell you lied, Jamal. You lied. You said you weren't going to come out until after your daddy died and he's still here. And he, he might as well be dead. He feel like y'all just stabbed him through the heart with this mess. It, to him, it's mess. Um. So anyway, the morning after, I started laughing because... There are some things, because I'm such a movie junkie and a TV junkie, there are certain parallels that I see. Because, like, it reminded me when he walked in the lobby with the dark glasses and the, and, and, and the hat and trying to be incognito. It reminded me of when Jacqueline and Marcus and Boomerang, Robin Givens and Eddie Murphy's characters broke up and, like, Marcus showed up. And, like, Chris Rock was like, yo, man, what happened to you? You know, I thought you were the man. And that's kind of how Lucius came into the lobby. And we see that, and you know, he's just having a hard time. Uh, him and Vernon and Andre meet up again. He lets them know, I think that y'all trying to steal the company out from under me. You're stealing, you know, you stabbing me in my back. And, you know, basically he told Vernon he don't trust him. I was like, oh, Vernon, you might end up like Bunky. Oops. 
um, his bunky sleep with the fishes and he didn't get stitches. He just slept with fishes. Uh, so this is when we learn the real reason why Lucius will not accept Andre either. No matter how much education you have, no matter how much, um, uh, smart you have basically Lucia said some of the things that I've heard a lot of black parents say I even heard my own daddy say if they can't use a comb don't bring them home you married a white girl uh, I don't trust your ass you done brought this white girl into my family you want to be accepted by white people but they will, they will accept your money but they will never accept your black ass that's what he said I was like oh, oh Jesus oh Oh my, so Rhonda and the Honda better go. Because if she don't go, you ain't getting nothing. Bottom line, Andre. And you know, Andre's like, but I went to school. I studied real hard. I said, oh my God, this sounds like the Kanye, the very first album, the college dropout scene. I'm like, oh my God. They are they are really pulling some things here. So I see parallels. It's, it's just work with me. So anyway you know he said no matter how many black women white women you bed or marry they ain't gonna accept your black ass bottom line so get over it so uh he told his daddy that nobody cares about him because he ain't got no talent no bottom line is you married a white woman and i'm done with you um uh, him and cookie have another moment together he wants to know what did he tell uh what did she tell anika of course cookie denies ever talking to anika boo boo kitty um we also andre is on the verge of a breakdown last week he was in the shower this week he's in the studio listening to i'm the great pretender and playing russian roulette if that boy had blew his brains out i don't know if i could have continued to watch the show um uh, uh so you know cookie basically tells him about the son you know no one cares that he's gay everyone you know the society is changing and and people are more accepting of people it, it, you know it, it's it's just becoming more accepting lucia's basically you need to just get over it. that's your son and no one cares all people care about really honestly in the industry people if people really were not so afraid of everything people only care about talent we don't care how fat you are. We don't care if you're gay, straight, bisexual, transgender. If you got talent and you got it, honey, we will we will follow you. I mean, for me, when it comes to music, if you got talent, I don't give a dang on. You can be fat, skinny, short. I mean, it don't matter. If it sounds good to me, God dog it, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. So next week is going to be really good or tomorrow I should say so y'all get ready for tomorrow because I'm going to try to do better about doing these reviews because this is almost a 30 minute review. Uh, next week Boo Boo Kitty is a woman scorn so guess who she goes to the enemy. Beretti. And uh, in this episode we see that people get really vexed and uh, start swinging guns everywhere so I don't know if somebody going to get shot at God but I mean it is empire and we know that from the very beginning people were getting shot um cookie finds out what anika has done and confronts her uh the 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 preview showed a very interesting line where they said where bill beretti and um lucius are talking and he says your tragedy talks in her sleep and she says your name and so he said whatever i got what i needed from her and i dropped her and oops sounds like something i did to you so it's gonna be really good and i want to say in closing the empire is a great show i wish people would stop trying to tear it down there's some guy and his name escapes me right now some doctor phd who claims that it's coonery um okay whatever um let's just be real the music industry has these dirty ins and outs no one wants to talk about lots of families we're not saying that black people have a monopoly on homosexuality but since they left us with the bibles and not the wealth a lot of us rely on the bible a lot to tell us how to treat people instead of really looking at the real meaning of what it means yes it does speak against homosexuality in the bible but when jesus came to fulfill the law he also told us to love and not judge one of the things i like about my church is that they teach us to meet people where they are so whatever doc 
it's it's a it's a wax saying and if if anyone you know if this is coonery then your uncle tom or better yet uncle clarence thomas i can't stand his behind i can't stand clarence thomas why third good he they why'd you have to go and leave us um what else do i have to say about that i mean you talking about it's not positive television so what are we gonna watch there's not a lot on TV, but I think this is a great show because it covers a lot of family issues. I'm tired of repeating this every time I do a rant or even do a review of this show. You people just need to get over it. Empire is not going anywhere. The ratings go up every week. They stay winning. Um, I guess maybe you could, Doc, watch Sweetie Pies maybe? Or is that not positive programming because it focuses on soul food, which is not good for us? I don't know. Pick a side, get with it. If you don't like it, shut up and create your own programming. That's that's all I can say because I ain't going to stop watching it. I love it. This Diva is out. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at Afia the Diva, Instagram at Miss Afia the Diva. You can find me on Facebook as Miss Afia the Diva. It's been great hanging with you all. I promise to try and do better, um, but I stay busy because I work like two jobs. I work full time and a part time. So I, but I do try to catch my TV shows. Uh, have a good night, good week, whenever you're watching this. Much love, Miss Afia the Diva. I'm out. <laughs>